These are the best backpacking gadgets of the entire year. These are the gadgets that have been with me on every single solitary backpacking trip. Whenever you look at my bag, they're just always going to be there because I use them on uh, almost every single backpacking trip. So let's get started. All right, you may have seen this first gadget in videos, but I've never talked about it at all. I've been using it for a very long time. It's the Fire Beaner by Outdoor Element. It's just a small carabiner, not for climbing at all, but it's got a bunch of different tools on it that are pretty useful, but one that I absolutely love and I use all the time. It's got a little screwdriver here, has a little box cutter here, not that you're gonna be cutting a lot of boxes in the backcountry at all. And then it's got this little mechanism here, obviously to attach it to whatever you want to attach it to, but I love it because it's got a little flint and steel like you'd find on a lighter and you don't have to bring a lighter then backpacking. You can just light your stove with one of these. Very, very cool. I'll put a link in the description below for this, but uh, this is something that I've used for probably two years now and you've probably seen me using it in videos or wearing it on my backpack. So I like to attach my Garmin InReach Mini 2 onto this. And then I just attach this directly to the outside of my backpack and it just sort of hangs off there. And I know exactly where it's at. And uh, that way, if I do lose my lighter, I have a second way to start a fire. So I love this little thing. Oh, if you're interested in this, I'll put a link in the description as well. This is the Garmin InReach Mini 2, just a satellite communicator, very expensive. Not one of the gadgets on the list, although it is a pretty phenomenal gadget and is probably one of my favorite because it will keep me safe. But you can push the SOS button here to connect with emergency services and you can text your family. The other really cool feature, uh, come in. Yo, were you gonna talk about Onyx next? Oh, uh, hey Emmett. Yeah, I am gonna talk about Onyx. Well, they just sent you this huge box. Ooh, okay. You'll, you'll have to, par pardon the image, I'll, I'll sleep now. Yeah. Wow, nice uh, box from Onyx Backcountry. Onyx has been a huge supporter of the channel for the past couple years. As a matter of fact, they're sponsoring this video. I have not seen what's in here, like legit. Oh, double wall steel mug. That's kind of nice. That's nice big uh, water jug. I'm sure my daughter's gonna try to steal that. Oh, nice, yeah, these are awesome. The Airscape, I just bought two of these because I'm a massive coffee, <laughs> massive coffee snob. <laughs> these are super cool. Oh, Onyx, you guys are the best. What else we got? Happy holidays, thank you for all that you do, the Onyx team. You know what, I think that right now, as a massive thank you, you guys should go in the description below and click on the Onyx link because they are giving you 20% off of their app. It's a navigation app. It helps you track, it helps you find campsites, it helps you find water sources, it helps you plan your entire hike from start to finish. And it's the app that I've used for the past several years and they are a huge supporter of this channel. So if you wanna support what we do, the best way to do that is to support our sponsors because we could never do this without them. So make sure you click the link in the description below and uh, thank you Onyx Backcountry. Pretty cool. Oh, I get it. Store the coffee, make the coffee, drink the coffee. Very clever, Onyx. Very clever. Next, we got the Pocket Bellows. This is really cool. So I wanna shout out to my friend, Rob, R Pelton one go check him out on YouTube. He's the one that originally told me about this probably three, four years ago. Uh, Rob, what's up? Almost looks like an old school antenna. And it sits inside of my ditty bag. And whenever I want to stoke a fire, I can use this. If you've ever built a fire and it starts to go down, and it's, you gotta you know put your head down there and just blow on the fire. You get close to the fire, you have to breathe in the smoke. It's just a pain, but this makes it super easy. You just extend it and you can blow into the straw. Essentially it's a big straw into the other end uh, and it blows and stokes the fire. So really, really cool way to keep fires going. And uh, I love this thing because it just makes building fires and keeping them nice and warm and robust. <laughs> very, very easy. And I just keep it inside of this little tube that it comes with. Put that on there like that and it goes right inside of my ditty bag. So really cool little gadget. 
Next is the Govi Hydrometer Thermometer. They make this in two versions. One is a Bluetooth version, which is the one that I have, but they also make one that is Wi-Fi connected. And basically what this is, is just, just a wireless thermometer that connects with your phone and it will track the entire time that you're out camping. As a matter of fact, it tracks all the time. It never turns off, but when you're connected to it, it gives you the data of what is actually happening wherever this is at from a temperature standpoint and a relative humidity standpoint. And you can select the hour, you can select the day, you can select the week, you can go the whole month, and it will tell you the temperature that is taking place the entire time. And the reason I love this is because, especially when it gets chilly at night, I like to know exactly how cold it got and when it got that cold. So this will tell me sort of real time and I can go back in time to see what the temperature was. Really cool little device. This thing is like 15 bucks on Amazon. So highly recommend you pick one of these up, but it's been a really cool little item, very lightweight, and I keep it in my ditty bag and I use it every time I go backpacking. Next on the list, I made an entire video about this. It is the Flextail Gear Zero Pump. It is a 1.2 ounce air pump to fill up your mattress, your air pad, or your pillow. It comes with a bunch of little attachments just like this, and they are 3D printed to fit whatever sleeping pad that you have. And it fits all different types of brands. But the little attachment goes on the end here, and you just double click the button on the side, and it fills up your air pad. <laughs> this will last about 20 pad fills, depending on the size of pad you have and I've never had the battery run out. It is a rechargeable battery that comes with it. Um, the battery that I think is going to ship with it is actually gonna be a rechargeable battery by USB-C, and it will be some a battery that you can just plug into whatever battery bank that you've got. This particular one does not have that, but this thing is amazing, and the best thing about it is that it actually stays in the pad, so you can walk away from your sleeping pad 1.2 ounces plus the battery comes to about two ounces total for the weight penalty. Totally worth it. This is probably my favorite gadget of the entire year. Okay, these next two gadgets are ones that I've never used. So these are just sort of like up and coming gadgets. I can't consider them the best of the year because I've never used them, but I've been messing with them. And so far they definitely are turning out to be something that I wanna tell you about. So my buddy, Ben Peterson, who also goes by Ben Banters online is a knife genius, a knife guru. He's been like the face of the knife industry for several years. He was the face of Blade HQ. He's worked for CRKT and he also designs his own knives over at NAVS, but he also collaborated with Civivi Knives to come up with this pretty awesome knife. This one is called the Sendi. So it's the Civivi Sendi and it's a Jaborsha wood. And it's actually really cool because this has sort of a pattern that's gonna be different on every single knife that's produced because it's, well, it's made out of wood. This is a super cool gadget for a couple reasons. One, it's a deep carry pocket clip. So this sort of sits nice and low in your pocket and people don't have to see that you got a knife in your pocket. It's a knife that opens up very easily. Very cool. I love the color of the blade on this. And then it is a liner lock, so you just push this mechanism over and you close it like that. But the coolest part about it is that it has a built-in tweezers to it. How cool is that? So very cool if you are <laughs> in need of pulling out a tick or a thorn or something like that out in the backcountry. Always nice to have a pair of tweezers and to be able to just cut some cheese, uh, not cut the cheese, but cut some cheese, maybe uh, cut up some fruit, an apple, that kind of thing, and just be able to do just basic tasks. The black handle is a G10 version, and it's got a cedar pattern on it, which is actually really cool. So it's kind of made to look like a stained black cedar plank. But this one has the spay blade on it. Very cool little knife, very cool little gadget. I would highly recommend checking out Civivi knives there very, very uh, moderately priced knives for what you get. And Ben is a genius when it comes to knife and knows how to design a good knife. Finally, my buddy, Nick, AKA Darwin on the trail, started a gear company called Evolved Supply Company. And when I was with him, I was eyeing his cook pot that he designed. And if you don't know Darwin, he's hiked over 14,000 miles 
and has spent countless nights on trails. He's a triple crowner and uh, knows his way around backpacking gear pretty good. He's been using the same cook pot, I think the entire time he's been hiking. And so he's had to scratch his own itch, as he says, and designed his own pot because of it. And so he came up with this and it's a 750 milliliter pot. It comes with a bale so you can maybe take a stick, we'll just use my pen as a standing stick, and you can hang this over a fire if you wanted to, to cook your meals that way. Comes with a really cool little wooden handle to be able to grab off the top so you don't burn your hand, so you can set it like this. But the lid also kind of snaps in, so that's nice, and it keeps everything nice and compact inside so the lid doesn't fall off. But you can fit an entire gas canister and your stove in there. You can close it up just like that and then everything stays inside of the pot. Super cool. It's got the uh, measurements here on the outside and it's titanium. So Darwin did a great job with this pot. I am actually really excited to try this out. Could be the new favorite pot, we will see. Nice handles on the side. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely one to look out for. So Darwin, you did a great job. We'll put links to all this stuff in the description below. What are some of your favorite gadgets? I'd love to hear about them in the comments below and we'll see you on the next one.